Hello everyone, this is Honeywell and I'm playing Banished. This is episode 9 of The Perfect Town. When we had last left off, we had a whole slew of building projects that we started and nothing got finished. Which is fine. Actually, I like playing on a slower speed. Um, the game is actually more enjoyable for me that way. But since I'm recording this, and for the sake of something actually happening, uh, we're going to increase the speed, and we'll increase the speed again once I uh, get my bearings here and start getting some of these things finished. It looks like stone is still a consideration, so we'll queue up some more to, to be harvested. I do have some ordered, and they've been bringing bringing that stone in increments of a thousand. So, so hopefully a a trader will be along shortly. In the meantime, pastures don't take any stone. So, and I was thinking about putting more in because they're such a low maintenance source of food a source of a lot of food if you trade and since we do trade we're gonna go ahead and put some more in we haven't really started farming much at all yet but we are going to. I just haven't got over to that portion of the map that I have earmarked for that. But I do want to get around to that. Actually, our population is going to absolutely explode shortly. raise this up to a hundred thousand. Uh, we've been building houses as fat as fast as we possibly can and it is only a matter of time. Oh we're still exhuming this grave back here. up the priority on that so I don't have to look at it. I feel terrible every time I see it. I don't think you should dig up your dead. You know, as a rule of thumb. And good. We're getting those houses around the marketplace built. Which is nice. Oh, and it looks like the marketplace is built. And all of the workers from the other market markets come rushing over here to fill this up. Which is very nice of them, and we're gonna let them do that. We'll lower the workers down to two in just a moment. And another good couple. Let's unpause these houses as well. Again, for a more even distribution of the, of the laborers. And another good couple. Oh, and it looks like we have nomads. Sorry, not this time, guys. Deny. I think it would be a fun challenge to 
to start a map where the only rules are you have to accept all nomads regardless, that might be a fun challenge. But it is not going to be this playthrough. Oh, didn't we get some beans last time? Let's switch over some of these fields to beans. And these fields uh, seem to be slower to plant and harvest, so that's why I'm putting those, making those bean fields. And this is the area that I have earmarked for some farms. And since our population is going to be increasing so quickly, um, it might be nice to be making some food to deal with it. So sooner or later I need to get these farms in place. Let's see. And we're going to need a marketplace over here. So as soon as we get to, what, 60,000 food? I'll unpause this. I like to to build my markets in increments of... Oh no, I just deleted that bridge. Okay. I like to do... Uh, to build my marketplaces in increments of 10,000 food. Dismiss you. And since we are going to have some additional trading posts, that are going to be dedicated to just auto-purchasing our food. Um, for right now, Uh, these trading posts over here, I don't, I won't need this variety of food. So I'm going to set the orders to, um, to only order the things that we want to stockpile. That way if I need some extra food, um, and they stop by, they'll have what I'm looking for. This is a work in progress. Once I figure it all out, I'll, you'll see it in action and then you'll, you'll know what I'm doing. And another food merchant, of course. Some stone would be good, guys. Stone works. We want apples. Let's get six brewers. And we're going to max out our alcohol production. There's never going to be a time when I'm going to want to limit that. Maybe look at some ale going here so I can change my trading post inventories. 1875. 1875. We are producing way more firewood than we need right now. As we keep building these wooden houses, that balance is going gonna, is gonna to change. But for right now, our firewood is excessive. Still no ale? Still no ale. Let's go up to 10 times speed here.
then we want a hospital in each populated area of our map. As well as a chapel and cemetery. Probably just looks better. Let's go with that. And more barns. And more barns. Let's get one of these trading posts unpaused. And we'll trade our thousand venison for food. Apples if they have them. We can purchase logs and iron. Is that everything? Looks like it. 14. Where's it? 350. Okay, thank you. And no thank you. And let's see, we have 400 venison. These trading posts. Yeah, it's gonna drive me crazy. Let's see. We'll purchase some coal. It's cheaper just to outright buy steel tools, though, to be honest. They only cost 10, which is nothing. But I like to have a little bit of everything. It would feel weird not to have. And we're not going to use firewood to um, to purchase food from a food merchant because they will only give you three value for the firewood instead of four. So unless it was some kind of a dire situation, I wouldn't do that. And now that we're finally producing some ale, uh, see if we can get some stocked. A weak heart. Those little messages are never good. Whenever I start seeing those, it usually means something more wrong with the town. You know, when your fishermen drown, your builders fall off ladders, your merchants get stabbed. <laughs> it's usually not a good sign. Ah, uh, yeah, we can see our population where it can use 20 more houses now. That's a... Uh... <laughs> that was expected. And we're going to keep trying to build houses to keep up with that. And... hope we don't cause ourselves a problem in the meantime while we do that. I think we'll be fine, but you never know. We 
we are up to 214 citizens. That's actually not very much. It's like about 21, 22,000 food a year, and we're upwards of 50,000. Let's up the priority on this. This house burns, burnt down the last episode. We can really use some more workers back here. 19 and 21. Good. Oh. Let's up our builders. I should have did that a long time ago. We'll up our builders to 20. Good. Good. No thank you. Sixteen and twenty-two. You're good. I guess we can start collecting some of this stone. I really wish a vendor would just show up, though. That would be ideal. Okay, you're good. And we're going to change your food order over here to just apples, beans, and wheat. And apples. Yes, thank you. And dismiss. Why is there so many here? Let's see. Iron and logs, okay. And what is that, 2400? Um, math is hard. 600, good. And what do we have here? I'm tempted to buy those apples, but it is not gonna happen. And dismissed. No. Good, good, good. Oh, and it looks like our schoolhouse finally got built. Great. As well as one of our tailors over here. And they're going to be making wool coats for us. Oh, and that is just my bad cat. She is extremely old. She's 20... 21? And very vocal. And this ta tailor back here, we're going to have them make warm coats to try and use up some of this leather that is accumulating back here. And more houses being finished. And you can tell that the houses are getting a little, uh, a little behind when you have like 25 and 17 year olds. What is that? I thought we already increased that. Okay, we want 20,000 for our firewood. Um, let's increase this to 5,000. And it looks like we'll get that house built. Oh, and our graveyard is gone, which is good. As soon as these graves disappear, we'll go ahead and put that cemetery back in. And 2,000 in beef. 
Oh, stone. Yay. Stone is good. We like stone. What is this? Dismiss you. Let's see. A thousand. Eighteen hundred. Take up some of that excess firewood. And another hundred in ale. Okay, thank you. And let's see, we were going to do uh, 2,000 beef. Um, 200 mushrooms. 4,000 mutton. 500 wool coats. And I want to say, uh, no thank you. Oops. Another, and no thank you. I want to say that eggs were clogging up this barn over here. Yeah, so let's... Uh, mushrooms, eggs, beef, mutton, wool coats, and venison. Venison. 2,000 venison. What is this, 5? Let's up our traders to 10. Ah, uh, let's do 15. Which will be 3, 3 for each. And we'll put another group of houses back here. Let's get another trading post unpaused. And I think it's about time that we stoned our roads here. So we'll go around and update all of our roads and get them to be stone. And eventually we'll get stone houses as well, but as long as we have the firewood, I'm really not concerned about it. Um, I believe we already talked about this one. I want to be able to build as fast as, as I like. And honestly, I just like the... I just like the wooden house model better than the stone houses. Let's see. And we'll get a thousand wheat and two thousand more apples. Okay, and that is good. A food merchant. Apples, beans. Cabbage, cherries, chestnuts. We're basically ordering all of the farm and orchard crops. Which we've gone into before. And every visit. And... I'll just buy some chestnuts. Seems good. I have no idea what that flashing is. And no thank you. And what do we have here? 
uh, steel tools. Steel tools are good. What is that? 125? Rather, 125, right? This is like, it feels like a mini game. Thousand apples, what, 100? And 38. Okay, dismissed. Look, it took me so long. These families are already starting to have kids over here. Okay, that is good. What were we doing? Stoning the roads? And these increase movement speed. I forget by how much. Um, I think the game files call it like fast and faster or something. But there was one. One of the templates that I looked at actually had a number associated with it. But stone roads are definitely faster, so I do want them. Well, let's see. Our tailors have reached their limit. Let's increase that to 1,500. And another doctor. Um, the hospitals don't need to be staffed unless there's an outbreak. They don't do anything when there's not an outbreak. But the yellow question marks annoy me, so. So I'll waste some laborers on them, just so I don't have to look at it. And... It's probably time to queue up some more houses. Where's our population at? Uh, 248. I don't even remember what we started the episode with. I'll have to go back and check. Let's see what this trader has. Oh, wheat and apples. Let's do a thousand. And I think this episode has probably gone on long enough. When we come back, we'll go ahead and finish up our finish zoning the roads, take a look to see where we're at, slow down the speed. And take a look at the town, see see what's going on. I think some of our storage barns are probably No, oh, this is just ridiculous. Okay, two times speed. And we'll reach, we'll deal with those traders when we come back. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with episode number 10.